Hi Pisces, how are you doing? I hope it's well, because I'm about to get all up in your business. I don't know why I feel like telling y'all this, but I'm really excited to get in the shower and do my little face routine and self-care on myself tonight. Do y'all feel me, Pisces? Because that's how I'm feeling. Like, I want to put on a movie. I might pop some popcorn. Put on my little eye mask. Maybe I need some self-care. Maybe I need to get real alone. I don't know. Let's see. Pisces. <laughs> Pisces, we're in a self-care mood right now. I'm setting the vibe. We all have... Freshly washed hair with uh, hotel towels wrapped around it. We have on hotel robes right now. We have grapes and champagne. Our toes are buried in like a fuzzy, furry carpet. Pisces. This is the vibes I'm feeling with y'all right now. Pisces. <laughs> Pisces. Okay, we're living in a lap of luxury. Pisces, Pisces, right now. Show me the energy currently crowning Pisces. So you could be dealing with some level of success, getting attention for something. Show me the energy currently crowning Pisces. There could be a love offer from another water sign, possibly. Show me the energy currently crowning Pisces. Or you could be stuck in your head about making a love offer. Pisces, Pisces. Show me the energy currently crowning Pisces, please. Two of Swords stuck in your head. Don't know which way to go, but also just not wanting to see the truth and the reality of a situation. This could be concerning some kind of money or some kind of stability, some kind of foundation in your life. We're clarifying for Pisces. We're clarifying for Pisces. Clarifying for Pisces. Why is this Two of Swords crowning Pisces right now? Why is the Two of Swords currently crowning Pisces? A Libra can be significant. Why is the Two of Swords currently crowning Pisces? Six of Wands, again, some kind of attention, some kind of success. <sighs> Give me more on the Two of Swords with the Six of Wands. Why is the Two of Swords currently crowning Pisces with the Six of Wands here? Whoa, that was a lot. Two of Cups. So you may... Give me more on the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords crowning Pisces right now with the Six of Wands? Why is the Two of Swords currently crowning Pisces? So you could be feeling like... bored with the attention that you are getting with this lad of wands some of you could be wanting to cut somebody off a fire sign or you could be realizing that you don't really like someone as much as you thought you did you kind of just like the attention that they give you give me more in the two of swords with the six of wands to the four of cups why is the two of swords currently crowning pisces why do we have the Two of Swords currently crowning Pisces? King of Wands, High Priestess. Who's this fire sign? I don't know. Some of you secretly want to be a player. Some of you secretly want to be a player. You could also feel like this King of Wands keeps secrets. I don't know. It feels like you're not interested in this energy anymore and you're having a hard time Letting them know that. 
This could be somebody who's entrepreneurial. They could have their own business. This could be somebody who's a fitness instructor, works at a gym, a dancer. So show me Pisces next actions and steps. Almost feels like you don't you're not interested in this person anymore. You're kind of like trying to figure out how to cut this person off or Show me Pisces next actions and steps. What are Pisces next actions and steps? Six of Pentacles, three of Pentacles. So I see you coming together, working together with someone, being generous, sharing something with someone. You could be helping someone financially, Pisces. We're clarifying for Pisces. We're clarifying for Pisces. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. But this could, this could be somebody asking you to help them start up a business. Or you could be Seven of Coins. Yeah, like invest in a business. Give me more on the Six of Pentacles for Pisces. Two of Swords, again. So you may not be sure if you want to help this King of Wands person. You may deep down know that this person... So somebody... Okay, take it how it resonates, period. But somebody could be coming in for help, acting as if they're interested in you, but you know deep down that they're not interested in you and they just want help. So you're not sure if you should help them. Take it how it resonates. That's just one scenario I have in my head. You have the Six of Wands, the Six of Pentacles. So there's some kind of collaborative or like... Some kind of, you could be gaining some kind of following online. Seven of Coins, Two of Swords. Clarify the Three of Pentacles here for Pisces. Four of Coins, again, Temperance. So I see you over here trying to bring some kind of balance to your finances. It feels like you're not sure if you should invest in something. Especially if it has to do with helping out someone else. Possibly a Sagittarius. Another Pisces, maybe a Cancer. I don't know. I feel like you should hold back from sharing. If this is about sharing money, investing money with the team, I do feel like there's something here that's saying that you should preserve and reserve and save and keep what's yours close to you. There's a need for you to, to bring your finances into some kind of balance. Especially if there's some kind of passion some kind of I don't know you could have felt like you were being you were successful or something but I don't know you could be feeling unsuccessful at like a business venture a business endeavor with the king of wands here and you possibly aren't sure if you should continue to invest is the energy that I'm getting So show me the outcome here for Pisces. Show me the outcome here regarding the Two of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the King of Wands, the High Priestess, Strength, Ace of Cups, Strength. So there's some kind of new love and beginning. Something that resonates with the best, the highest, your, your highest... Self. We're clarifying for Pisces. Clarify this Ace of Cups in the outcome. How come Pisces has the Ace of Cups in the outcome? What's the Ace of Cups here for Pisces? Could be a Leo. King of Cups. So I see you making some kind of love offer. Some love some kind of love offer being made to you. Somebody's in love. Give me more on the Ace of Cups or the King of Cups. The Lad of Coins. I don't know. Somebody's in love, but somebody's broke. 
or somebody's in love, somebody wants to make a love offer, somebody wants to make a proposal, a stable pr proposal. I'm almost getting like a date routine, like every Thursday is date night. This person wants to, somebody wants to invest with you in love. Or you want to. Who is this? Who's the, the Ace of Cups or the King of Cups? The Lad of Cups. So this is you or another water sign. Clarify strength. This could be someone younger than you. Clarify strength. Here for Pisces in the outcome. Clarify strength for Pisces here in the outcome, please. The Eight of Cups. So I see you. It take it took a, it's taken a lot of strength for you to walk away from one thing in order to give something else an offer, or you possibly had to walk away from someone that you were in love with. Give me more strength to the Eight of Cups. Give me more strength to the Eight of Cups for Pisces. Give me more. Give me more strength to the Eight of Cups here for Pisces and the outcome for Pisces. Justice. Possibly towards a towards a Libra. But there's something here about making something fair, making something right, balancing something out, aligning with your highest good, your highest nature, walking away from something with grace, being fair. So some of you are making a love offer to a Libra. Do we have any more messages? Any final messages for Pisces? I didn't I don't like that. Do we have any final messages for Pisces? Any final messages for Pisces? Do we have any two of cups? So choose love. Choose love. And I feel like when I say choose love, I mean choose the person that feels like they're your partner in crime, your equal. There's love here. Alright, Pisces. Y'all gonna have to let me know in the comments what it is and what it ain't. And I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.